listening to the Good Shepherd podcast, real life stories from the people of Wolverhampton. Welcome back to the Good Shepherd podcast, where once again, we're heading back into the world of art. We've got three special guests with us as we focus on another of the series of workshops which are part of the ACE project, delivered thanks to funding from Arts Council England, all of which are working towards what will be a fantastic exhibition celebrating recovery at New Hampton Arts Centre in September. This particular section of workshops looked at painting and drawing, and we're delighted to welcome the leader of those workshops, artist, tutor and creative practitioner Hannah Boyd. Welcome, Hannah. Hello, thank you very much for having me. No problem. Well, I'm actually uh, now double-barrelled. Oh, I am right. now Hannah Boyd McKee. Oh, I say. I got, got married two years oh, ago, so I'm, I'm posh now, eh, That's I, with it. my double barrel. Well, congratulations, so, uh, <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. I hope they'll have your name right at the exhibition then. I've got that wrong, but uh, no, fantastic. And also joined by two people who've been a key part of the ACE workshops, have taken part in all of the different specialisms so far. Both have very different and powerful stories which they have kindly agreed to share with us. So a warm welcome to Matt and to Henuk. Hi there. Yeah, thank you. No thank problem. You Thanks a lot for you all for coming in. We're looking forward to a good uh, conversation. If we just start with Hannah, um, can you just chat through a bit about your background and where your love of art from and, and how it came from and how you came to pursue it as a career? Um, yes, yeah, so I was, uh, started Bilston College back in the 90s, um, hmm. doing art and design. Uh, then went into ceramics, so my degree was in ceramics at Walls Uni um, and then later went back and did a Masters in Fine Art, um, started teaching at Adult Ed, and I think it was about 2005, <coughs> taught ceramics and art there, um, art for health and things like that, and that's been quite, that's run through quite a lot of my work really, mm. um, the art for health, I definitely enjoy Working with people and just kind of making things happen, really. I get quite excited with, you know, buzzing off different people. I love with these pair, mm. just fantastic. <laughs> I can see know, that already, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this <laughs> is going to be quite terrible. a lively podcast, I think, but yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, so it's kind of all, always been there, really, um, do it in, in various ways. Um, doing things, uh, so Henrik and you through as well, the um, St. Chad and St. Mark's yes, Church yes, as well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, which is, so um, yeah. that's a great yeah. place, isn't it? Yeah. And I run an uh, art and wellbeing course mm. there. Um, but so, yeah, I've just been dotting around Wolverhampton really, pretty much homegrown. So, um, and growing up, can you remember where it came from, sort of that love of art? Was it just something you've just enjoyed from when um, you were younger and going through school and all that sort of stuff? Yeah, yeah, I suppose... <laughs> I suppose my earliest remember, I really liked at nursery, um, painting the dots on a painting of the Queen. Oh, okay. <laughs> in, I think we were that. in the sandpit, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, memory. if I could have just stayed in nursery for the rest of my life, I think I'd be quite content, really. Um, you act like you're still in nursery. I do, don't I? <laughs> I keep that, like Picasso, you yeah. want to keep that kind of childlike childish. quality, don't yeah, you? Exactly. And um, I think my parents have always encouraged that as well, and it's... Um, not necessarily like having to always do drawing, you know, be kind of like creative in, in all different mediums, really. Like, I love the um, buttons tin. All right. And uh, making like images out of buttons yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. So it's like, God, and I think art is just art and life. It's, you know, I don't think it's just drawing. It can be like so many things, Absolutely. can't it, really? Yeah, it's yeah. a way of life, isn't it, really? Of I it think. Is. How, yeah. you, how you engage with people, how you perspective on mm. things. You know, it's just just a real mix, isn't it? Really? It just, I think it and just I think everybody can be creative. Gives you so much back that. when you mm. when you're actively involved in creating something. Yeah, just, yeah. For definitely. your well-being, mm. yeah, it's just brilliant for your well-being, isn't it? It's good, isn't it? And till it till it stresses you out when it doesn't go right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> it can be stressful, can't it? Yeah. But overall, it's lovely. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, these um, these particular workshops, how yeah. did you kind of approach that and oh. keeping these guys and everyone else in check, which I'm sure uh, was the biggest challenge? I tried to but, surprise uh, them every week, really. Yeah. With, uh, you did that? I did, yeah. didn't I? <laughs> yeah. every, every, every week, you know. <laughs> Unexpected thing, you know. So we did uh, a bit of portraiture yeah. uh, with um, kind of like fast-paced drawing and stuff like that. And drawing using with different hands. hands. And yeah. then <laughs> using both hands at the same time and then doing it upside down. And then, yeah. Yeah, just pushing Constantly. people out of their comfort zone Absolutely. but at the same time right. making them then feel more comfortable. We did um, watercolour rocks, didn't we? Um, painting with sticks. And painting painting with, sticks. with sticks. Amazing. I set up a massive still life display and then I put all these big pieces of paper around and 
got these yeah. massive bamboo sticks and then drawing with those and we turn those to draw into with that? Yeah. Well, I think <laughs> that, right. that, that technique is really good to you know to develop your yeah. confidence. Yes. You know, so yeah. I learn from that your technique, you know. Uh, to build in drawing nice. or painting. Yeah. It just Confidence. helps loosen up, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. It's kind of letting go of that voice in your head going, oh, yeah. I can't do something. To, it doesn't matter. No. Mm. And then you develop and then you know where you want to go with things. And w once you loosen up with those kind of things, it's just, it's often so I much better. I tried several things <laughs> in your workshop that I'd never done before. And I've been an and artist you, my entire life. Mm. As you said, I went to, 20 years ago, I went to your workshop when we were exhibiting as part mm. of... Uh, the collectivism exhibition yes. at the lighthouse. Yes, yeah, you told me about that. Reason, yeah. so I forgot about it because I was I was drunk at the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was drunk for twenty years. I didn't notice. You become very good at hiding it, don't you? Yeah, I but I was drunk for twenty years. Were you? Solid, yeah. Wow. Well. You yeah, you did hold it. Should have well. had the hangover. I had when I, when I stopped drinking after twenty a twenty year hangover. That was a good one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. No. But I, I do remember it vaguely. Yeah, yes. yeah. It was stencil workshop. Stencil workshop. Mm -hmm. um, and interesting in that process that you do there, feeds in very much to the classical way of drawing, which I've learned in within the past few years, really, a different way of drawing. And it very much looks at like shapes and shadows and stuff, which yeah. is what you do in stencils yeah, as well. Yeah, of course. So I just love this when everything's connected. Yeah. You know, it's and mm. I, I buzz off that really, like those connections and you know, those little nuggets of, mm. of info you get from somewhere and the people you meet and how you get fired up, isn't it, really? Yeah. yeah. Do you, you taught us so much, all of us. I mean, oh, thank you. Every, every week we were just excited because we didn't know. At That's all, good. what we're going to be doing, yeah. And because I'm the artist yeah. amongst the group, and a lot of people, a lot of the other people, it suit, for instance, they've never done art before, yeah. Um, and but we're all on a level playing field because I and I think that can be pressure when you're an artist going into someone else's sessions as well. There can be a bit of pressure of like, I've really got to perform it, yeah. You, I didn't you know, have that with you. I, that's because, good, yeah. Because like, I, Matt, I know you're good to be a right hand. Try with your left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know you're all. We all know you can do that. Try this. Yeah. And that. Was and it's good. You embraced all of it. A lasting um, impression you made on me. That was because. And I love that with you, Henrik, as well, because you you don't. We've not really done much art before, had you? Yes. No. 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 Yeah. It's just my. Uh, according to art, you know, my first experience with the Good Shepherd. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. I find my. Self, you know, I have something, you know, in my inside, which is I don't know, you know. Mm. Yeah. So that's mm. really helped me, you know, to to like to take out from my mind yeah. and then especially, you know, how the artists are like the, you know, art give you freedom. Yes. You know, to, yeah. uh, so that's why I like, you know, the. And when you're doing a workshop, an art workshop, it is, do you find it? Relaxing, is it like very, very a nice, relaxing? Nice you know. experience. Yeah, nice experience. And then positive. people, you know, yeah, po real positive. You That's know. It, yeah. When before I come to, uh, I mean, uh, before I come to, to join the art group, I might be stuck with something with my mind. Mm -hmm. But yeah. once I join the art group, everything is like gone, and then I'm doing creating something, you know, that's and then it. people that's give beautiful. you ideas, stuff, you know. Yeah. So that's yeah. one thing, you know, for art uh, class, mm. which is I. Uh, like it, it's not know. just a bit of fun, is it? It's I think it's well, I know it's important for a lot of mm. people. Mm. Um, in recovery, like myself, I've, I I volunteer now for a, for a group called Suit mm. Service Users Involvement Team, and they've all got lived experience with re addiction and mm. recovery. Mm. Um, so they they all come from that background, and the workshop I do, I I run now, um, it's just amazing, just helping. People come to terms with their own problems mm. through doing a bit of art. Um, and I, I, I've just, my whole perspective on art has changed since, since realising that it's how powerful a tool it is mm. in, for someone's mental health. Well, I've just always soul, done it. I've it? just yeah. always done it. I've never yeah. thought yeah. about it. I've just always done art. I think it's that bit of so your soul that yeah. you kind of like get it out is, there. Absolutely. You can, and you can connect it with other people or not. You know, I don't think all art has to be shared. No, um, no, you know, no, but no, to no. to kind of like yeah, just get that bit of your soul out there. It's just so powerful, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's yeah. cathartic. Know. It's therapeutic. It's, yeah, uh, and and just a sense of um, if you you know if you produce something that you're pleased with, that gives you. That makes you feel good about yourself. And yeah. I think when other people are like going, oh, that's fantastic. And I notice you all as a group instantly. You're just so supportive of each other. 
And I love that with them, um, because I've got the studio at Neumpton Art Centre and the classes I teach there. Everyone there as well is just so lovely. You don't people don't say negative stuff about each yeah, of the work. People no. go. We just see do that behind the, our backs, don't we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never. It's like they they see you know the the struggles that people have gone through in of their work course, and go, yeah. oh, I struggle with that. And then yeah. it's like I've done that bit that way, and it's just it's just such a book, and it's a community, and it I think is. that's a really important oh, thing. Gosh, people yeah. people don't just come to like do the art. It's to it be a community mm. with others, isn't it? And be inspired yeah. by others. We all need that. We all need oh, a sense definitely. of community. definitely, because you can get so isolated, can't yeah. you, I think? I'm quite yeah. an, a solitary person. I love my own comp- I love being on my own. Yeah. But, I, I, you know, I think we'd all we'd all die if we didn't have anyone else. I think you need a bit of both, we don't need, you? We need, we need, that we both, need the you? people, you know. Yes. So why Absolutely. we need the people, you know, look at me now. I don't know about art before I joined the good shop. I don't know. I just see the picture and then I don't know. How it's created, you know. I always amazed by who turns this one. Is this my picture or is this done yeah. by hand, you know? Yeah. Yeah. When I see night. the real artist, that's amazing. Okay, I should try to be like them, you know. Yeah. So to, uh, the good thing is, you know, when you do as a group, as a team, you know, like me, I don't have experience, but I share other people's experience, like well, you, you watch someone else, yeah. that, you know, yeah, yeah. sharing and learning, you know. Yeah. So yeah. it's kind of teamwork and then adding value on your life, yes. you know. So I think that's it, isn't it? Valuing your life, isn't yeah. it? Beautiful. And it's, and it's yeah. how how we grow. And I think mm. the thing with art is there's always something to learn. Oh gosh, yeah. always, and it's always connected to something else. It's connected to science, history whatever it's like it, it yeah. just links and it's so like you go down one little trail one way and then you go oh there's this other direction here and, oh and then you meet the next person the more i learn is the, the more i've realized that I, I don't know anything really i just know tiny it's little blip, bits about lots it's of a things of, like all the wonderful you, things you open you the doorway and you're like oh there's a whole world out there yeah, yeah. that i do not understand yeah that's why I love Alf as a chap who... who, who oh, yeah, who, his he, knowledge is fantastic. He's yeah. like a scientist stroke artist, isn't yeah, he? He's yeah. always got his head in some astrology book or biology book or something, and he's turning it into art. Yeah. And he's just teaching himself. He's like the wise, probably the wisest man we, we, we will ever know. <laughs> is he in the group, is he? He's, got, he's just got a studio. Oh, he's just okay, okay, studio, yeah. Yeah, he's a studio, doesn't he? So he's, um, he's just wonderful. Yeah. What, what's, their, what's their studio? I've forgotten what their studio's called now. Is it something like Art for All? Got G a name? G because I, I used to I, I so mine's the art room and yeah. they were next door to me. Yeah. I was G C. I think they're G five, aren't okay. they? Is it something like G five art? I, I don't oh, know. Probably. But they're at the New Hampton yeah. Art Centre right. and it's great because there's I think there's about four artists in there now. Uh, and that's often like rotating yeah. as well. Yeah. But it's a fantastic, it's a fantastic it's an place. Up there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's an uh, New Hampton Art Centre. We just we've got so many things going there's on. There's a theatre there. There's a little cafe there. There's workshops, isn't there? Yeah, there's, there's loads the of studios. dance stuff. There's prints. So you have got Jackie and Lindsay, and it's they're amazing. painting and print. There's ceramics because so you, you did the ceramics workshop yes, as well, yeah, didn't with, you? We did with Helen. With Helen. Helen. Yeah. That's my first experience. And then, is that know, your first experience? Every with day I use a cup and, yeah, and I, yeah. for a bowl for eating, but yeah. I don't know how to how. They made, you know. Well, yeah. you, but now when I made, now you've it, got an when, idea. Yeah, yeah, now I got the idea. That's a good thing, you know. Yeah. So yeah, Brilliant. it's a good point, isn't it? When you yeah, making things that are functional as well, and this world around us, kind of understanding it that little bit more. Yeah. You know. And then you, 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 you know, yeah. if something, if how it's made, if you understand, yeah. you might give him, like I said, value. Yeah. To you know, for yeah. the person or mm. for uh, mm. the material you use it. Yeah. So the good thing, it, yeah. The main thing is, you know, I always like know something how create how doing people, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I find how to make uh, pottery and then ceramic, yeah. like you said. Yeah. It's, it was a really good experience. It's, I guess. it's surprising yeah. how, how no, I'm not saying easy these things are, but before you try something, you can be scared of it. You're like, yes. yeah. I could never do that. Mm. And then you realise, after just a I'm few scared. little nudges, a few <laughs> yeah. little bits of uh, a little help and encouragement, you realise that we can do pretty much anything. If we want yeah. to do something, mm. we can have a good go. Yeah, yeah. I think that's we it. We can have, if you get rid of that fear of the unknown and embrace it and go, right, I'm going to try this. And, and the feeling I'm, again I'm at the end of it. Any good. The satisfaction, yeah. the fulfilment at the end of it, then. It's just isn't have it? a passion, it's isn't it? It's you just know, trying it's something. Kind of, yeah. yeah. The importance of trying something. Because it doesn't matter if something isn't perfect. And it doesn't no, matter just, if it doesn't work the first time. It's with just, art, there's it's no. It's just a first um, step, isn't it, really? Exactly. 
you know. Because I think, Matt, you've touched on this already a little bit, and I should have introduced you as Matt the Artist, because Kate Penman says that's how everybody knows well, you I'm known as around Matt the, the city. Matt the Artist. It used but, to be Matt the something artist. Well, but, um, <laughs> but that's what I was going to ask you. I'm how not going to say that. No, how yeah. important, I mean, your, your journey of recovery, hmm. and, you know, you've faced some challenges in your life, but how yeah. important has art been, and what... You know, what do you get out of the, the art, and, and how far have you come along that journey? I mean, now, there's no, say? there's no doubt about it. I wouldn't, I really wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my art. Mm. Um, in recovery, I, it's just been my salvation, really. Um, just being able to do that, and what it's given me personally, mm. and then getting involved with a volunteer art group, and because it's, it's the first time I've ever done that, apart from the one-off things over the years. Yeah. Uh, but this is a weekly thing that I'm doing now, and I'm and the people who come to the classes, the art sessions, they depend, they need those sessions for their mm. own sobriety, mm. for their own recovery. They need it, and that is helping keeping me sober. Because mm. uh, if I start drinking again, I can't do that. Mm. Mm. So I'm not just letting myself down; I'm letting a lot of great people down as mm. well, and I'm not going to do that. So art's pretty much. The most important thing in my life, yeah. really. So I think we were talking before you came on about you know the Absolutely. addiction that you've gone through. Yeah. It's every day. You know, it you is, can't you can't that, slip up. Yeah, it's you. alcohol. Yeah. My, my demon yeah. was alcohol. Is alcohol. Um, I'm nine months sober now. Brilliant. Which feels like about nine oh, years. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long nine months. Uh, but when you're drinking every single second of every single day for so long, and then you stop, you realise, wow, I've got a lot of time on my hands. Because you don't, you haven't got time on your hands when you're a full-time alcoholic, or you're not thinking about it because you just all you're thinking about is that next drink. And then when that's out of the question, you've got a lot of time, and you need something to fill that time up with. So mm. if I didn't have my art, I would have gone mental. Mm. I would have, I mean, I would have gone, I would, my mind would have mm. snapped. I think because mm. you've got to be able to fill that time. And that's great because anyone can do art. Mm. You don't need a lot of money for materials. Uh, it helps if you've got lots yeah. of nice materials. Yeah. 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 It helps if you've got a big studio full you of everything. You spend a lot of money but on But you don't... We places like the works in town. Mm. You can go up there. I mean, it, it's to, to proper artists like me and Hannah. It's probably it's the it's cheap, rubbish stuff. But it's, it's OK to get you going, mm. isn't it? Well, it's OK what? to get there's you going. You can get a nice start. There's isn't there? You, you can, can make get... art out of... I've made art yeah. out of mud. Of course. You know, yeah. so it's like... All kids... Yeah. Oh, budding artists. Yeah, it's yeah. my contention. All kids start off this. We're all. You show me a kid who doesn't love making a mess mm. with crayons or paint or clay mm. or mud or, like Watching you said, tin. anything. Tin. Kids, are, we're all creative. <laughs> I think people are creative creatures. And I think, you know, when you, f- you, might not, you might spend your whole life not finding that thing that you enjoy doing. Yeah. And it must be fr- it's frustrating because yeah. you need a, we need an outlet, a creative outlet. People. People need a creative mm. outlet. I think, I think like, I'm, I'm a um, firm believer in that. With the pandemic, wasn't it? I think that made it a more lot of people, obvious as a well. A lot of people got into... I know a lot of people now who are full-time artists who discovered it. They didn't know they were artists Yeah. in the pandemic. Yeah. Because mm. they've got that time for the first time in their life, a lot of them. They're like, oh, I need something to do. Yeah. Oh, I'll try making this or I'll try painting or I'll watch it. And with YouTube as well, there's, n- there's nothing you can't learn mm. yeah. through a tutorial. yeah. 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 Watching YouTube, yeah. I mean, it's fantastic. You know, yeah. as a young kid, I remember I was fascinated with so many different things, and then, unless I could find a book from the library about it, or knew someone older who knew about it, so I could ask them, you didn't know. No. There's no way of knowing all. Inf- no, it's, you can, it's everywhere. We, we can it, know yeah. it. We can find out anything yeah. about anything, yeah. and that's a powerful tool. That's Absolutely, yeah. information and knowledge. It's powerful. You touched on Suit, obviously, <clears throat> Service User Involvement Team, which is another incredible organisation. But the, the power of that story is I think you went along there as a client, obviously, when you were I was battling using, your addiction. Yes, I was. And you've now ended that. up yeah. delivering classes for them in art, haven't you? Which yeah. is, yeah. talk and about full circle. Yeah, it's amazing. Like I say, it's, uh, it went from just something that I enjoyed doing personally to realising that um, it, it's helping get people straight mm. into a better place. I mean, you see all sorts of people obviously mm. with different uh, different struggles coming to suit uh and a, a lot of them you, you only see that you you know you only see one time mm. a lot of people so many people have, have just seen the once and they, you know they haven't managed to i mean it's with alcohol and it's an epidemic alcoholism when you step out of that world mm. 
I didn't realise it until I stepped out of the drinking world. And you realise, oh my God, everyone's drinking. It seems like <laughs> everyone's on the lash. Hmm. As often as they can, they're on the lash. Uh, it used to be that you know, people only drank in the pub. It's not anymore. People are drinking at home. Oh, people are just warm, drinking. Yeah. People use alcohol to co- as a coping mechanism yeah. for so many different things. And it's a pernicious thing, alcohol. It creeps up on you. You don't wake up one You don't go, I think I'm going to become an alcoholic. Mm. Yes, I think I'm going to become a full, full-blown full alcoholic. No one does that. Mm. No one does that. It creeps up on you. It creeps up on you. To a point where, you know, if it creeps up on you enough and gets its claws in you, it, you know, it's, it's diff- it doesn't mm. want to let you go. Mm. You know, if you just if you just stop drinking, you can it can kill you. Mm. You, you can have an instant, you can have a seizure, and you can kill, that can kill you. Mm. It will give you permanent brain damage because that you, the, your body gets addicted to that poison, and it, and that's, that's that's scary. I think mm. that your body because it's a to, it's a it's a cellular poison alcohol. It doesn't do you any favors at no. all. It just attacks every cell in your body. It kills every cell in your body. It tries to. Uh, it does a bloody good job as well. Mm. And yet you can. It's legal. You can get it twenty four hours a day. <laughs> just up the road is a 24-hour yeah. day place yeah. that just sells vodka yeah. through the night. I mean, if that isn't just enabling that, who's buying mm. vodka and whiskey at 3 o'clock in the morning? Uh, alcoholics. Mm. Yeah, that's the only kind of people I know who's going to be buying, needing that booze at that time. Yeah. I was one of them. And it's, it's, it's terrible, I think. I mean, the amount of people it kills alcohol, oh, yeah. the amount yeah. of people, the amount of lives it destroys... Even if people who doesn't kill him out of lives who... Connected to those people as well, isn't it? it Families it, it and friends. It ruins yeah. so many people. I've, I know several people, ex-friends of mine, ex-girlfriends of mine, who've had to get a... Who've had to, who's still in counselling to deal with living with an alcoholic. Mm. You know, I've, you know, I've got to live with that. Mm. But... I'm not that person anymore. Well, I was going to say, like, I know your person. challenge. Your challenge, as you say, goes on every day. But when it you look, does, yeah. at how you're doing now compared to oh, that? I'm, you, well, I'm I mean, proud of myself. I was going to say, I was going to ask you. You must be proud of yourself. I'm incredibly proud of myself. And family and friends must be proud of you as well. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm. Yeah, you um, you upset a lot of people when if you when you're an, an active addict, mm. uh, but you don't, you don't realise at the time because mm. you, you you're blind to it all. You're blind to everything, mm. and, and apart from that one thing in your life. But uh, I've tried to make make amends with people I'm upset, and the good ones have, you know, they're mm. still in my life, luckily. But you're but, also giving back a lot with your work well, in the art field, aren't you? As well, it, yeah. And, yeah. You got to give back, haven't you? Yeah, if you spent a lot of time just taking, you got to give back. Can you use the Good Shepherd services you were saying as well before? Amazing for food, uh, amazing. Past, yeah, yeah. Uh, there have been times deep in addiction when. You know, food was the food wasn't even you know wasn't even on my radar of yeah. things to get. Just booze. Um, I didn't care about my. You don't, you don't care about yourself. You, you know, I was living in squalor, absolute horrific conditions. I was living in. Uh, just a, you know, but a, a full blown alcoholic. And it, yeah, and so my only food was coming up to the Good Shepherd, and, and I've got to meet a. Some amazing people, and I've got some good friends who are part of this service. Mm. And, and this good man here, you know, next to me, Henock, <laughs> his story, which I think we're going to hear in a bit, aren't we? Do you want, well, should we do that now? I think Teed it up nicely segue. there, Matt. Thank what you very much. Henock, <laughs> so, what Henock says about a good shepherd is beautiful. Yeah, no, oh, too, thank you, it. thank you. But yeah, Henock, I mean, again, I mean, Matt's is an incredible story, and it's yeah. great to see you thank doing you. so well and, and thriving and, and helping everybody else as well. But um, yeah, thank you. So Henock came over as an asylum seeker, I think, nine years ago. Yes, um, yes, without a word of English, and already you're delivering English oh, like, better than most try, people. But try, try, try yeah, better need. than most people, exactly. Yeah. But um, need, yeah. I think you've worked with Kate previously to put a few words together about your story, which probably explains it better okay. than anything. Yeah. If, you're, if you're okay to read that for us, yes, I do. I can read. Yeah. Okay. As uh, you mentioned, my name is Henok. Uh, uh, I come from Ethiopia. Uh, I left Ethiopia in. 2012 because of uh, the war i had been in prison twice the first time there were 40 of us in a tiny room the second time the official came and then took me from my home they sent me to a prison where it was slave labor i know that i was looking at death in uh, in the prison 
or possible deaths if I try to escape. I choose to escape and have never looked back. Life's journey makes you into a fighter and it's a miracle that I am here. I arrived in England in 2015. I don't speak English, so I went to college to learn. The home office made my home made me homeless in 2019 after my claim was refused. My English was basic and I was lost. Homelessness is, is scary and you feel like there is no future. You give up on life and you just don't care about anything. One day I was in town try, tired, homeless and homelessness and hungry. I had to ask a stranger if if he had anyone any one one money or could buy me food. Instead he showed me where the he showed me where the good shepherd was. I went I went there and met Brother Stephen. I had a big bowl of soup and it was delicious. I went back the next day and they introduced me to Kate, who introduced me to Hope, Hope, Hope Projects and Wolverhampton City Century. From that day, I, I know my life was in safe hands. When I moved into Hope into Action House, I left. I felt safe and had hope again. With the help, with the help of the Good Shepherd, City of Century and Hope into Action, my life changed and that change began with began with the Good Shepherd. Family family, my asylum claim was accepted. The Good Shepherd is my family now. I will never struggle again at the good the good shepherd i do the recovery at art when i was depressed it really helped me it is like a team everyone is friendly and accept accepting and that's that's why i love my art group friends there are many chapters in my life the, this story is just a small highlight i am in my best chapter now and expected for the future. Sorry. Excited. Wow. Oh, excited, <laughs> for future. Wow. excited for future. I don't know how that's you future. follow that really. It's yeah. amazing. Wow. But um, thanks so much yeah, for sorry. reading it. Um, I don't know. Do, I mean, mm -hmm. to me, I don't know if this is even a question you can answer, but to those people who have never been in your position, when you're unjustly in prison, as yeah. you were in Ethiopia, and you might die in prison, you might die if you escape. What, in your head, what, wow. how can you even decide uh, to make your next step? Do you know, this is, I just mentioned on a paper uh, two times. That's just written on a paper, mm. which is with the government. But before that, there is a small catches, you know. They catch you one day and then 24 hours they release you. And then my name become famous by bad way mm. around uh, yeah. where I born. Mm. So mm. I just feel it, you know, I didn't accept that area because I am a uh, sample of a uh, troublemaker or I wasn't good sample yeah. of by their view, you know. Mm. So, okay, Henok. When they take me the last one, they put me in uh, where the labor or slave I just grabbed lots of information. There were many prisoners around the country, you know, mm. someone coming from south, someone from north, someone come from capital cities. I just grabbed information, how long they stay, how long, what's their uh, statement. So I decided there were one and six, uh, one year and six months prisoner, mm -hmm. five years prisoner. I just look, I take their picture, you know. So, Henok, you go into this journey, you know. So I decided to don't stay there because uh, there is no judge. 
as I just take me put there. Mm. So I don't want to die there. There's no justice or anything like no, that. No, no justice. Yeah. Nor uh, you're not going to uh, <coughs> somewhere yeah. to yeah. judge uh, mm. to see you. So you just stay and spend your life. Okay, that's even some people die with malaria in there. You know because. In the small room, you see 18 people. There is no shower. There is no other room. So mm. many things, you know. There, you wash your clothes by hand. Even no enough water. I just calculate all these things, and then mm. I decided with uh, three or four my friend. So uh, I think three of us we met. I don't think so. One of my friend, he made it with us, you know, because I was hearing gunshots mm. when we escaped from uh, farmland. Wow. So that's take uh, with uh, lots of search, mm. and then f- since that day I just <laughs> move forward, going forward, going forward, and then uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. I just see my future. I don't want to be how I see. You know, I want be to be for my family, for mm. my friend, even for myself. You know. Yeah, and then like I said, I'm really in my good, uh, yeah, good exciting course. chapter. Mm. I speak English. The main thing is honestly, Amazing. you know, I, the main thing is I can. I can't uh, imagine doing that. Learning, <laughs> ex- I can't imagine learning another language. Oh. It's yeah, I can't know. explain my problem. You know, used to I don't have confidence. Thanks for good shepherd. The main thing. Thanks, Kate. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, brother Stephen. They introduced me. Mm. I can't say all of the world people, <laughs> including uh, Charles Mark Church, and that's develop confidence. Mm. I always speak confidence. You know, mm. if you don't have confidence, you can't do anything. Exactly. You know, I yeah. know my level. Yeah. You know, when I come here and just sky and earth, the difference. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you understand it? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. even to say hello or to greet people, I was like, you don't realize how important it is to yeah. have that confidence. So, yeah. Thanks for good shit, but honestly, you know, because she can't take me everywhere, you know. She just push me, you know. She just push me. And then, mm. now he are, you know. Yeah. yeah. She's an angel. And yeah. you've had to go through so much to actually get your settled status. And thankfully, I mean, absolutely perfect, right decision. You've now got a settled status. So all the contributions you've been making now, you know, you're here. You can carry on, can't you? And just live yeah. life. Yeah. Yeah. I start, I think I'm, I'm going to say I start. Uh, Living life, mm. which yeah. is uh, living life. I am now legal, yes. uh, and then I can work, I can study, I can yeah. do whatever I want. You mm. know, that's uh, the good thing of Amazing. I never forget in mm. my life. The big change, big massive change. We're glad you know? you're here, mate. Oh, oh, yeah. We are glad you're here. Thank you. Because Thank you, Thank you talked about the art group as well, being a family, and, and obviously everyone, yeah. three of you here today. Yeah. You mentioned you're waiting for Matt outside before today, and I think Matt said what Matt means to you almost, how you feel when you're with Matt as well. Oh, what did you say again? You said I'm like, you feel you charged, charged up. No, charged yeah. up, uh, earlier uh, yeah. Hannah was speaking uh, about uh, <laughs> her uh, art class with mm. a good, I think we had six weeks or five weeks with Hannah, yeah. and uh, I know Hannah before that as well, you know. Mm. She as well, I think they are have similarity, you know, mm. Ma, Hannah and yeah. Matt, you know. We both got in there hyper up. You know, yeah. when, yeah. when they, yeah, they got yeah. energy, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yes, I, they have got good when, when I spoke to them, you know, they greeting, the way they greet you, mm. the way they speak you, you know, <laughs> the way they action, you know. When Open. you see them, you feel it's the energy, like, Open, you know. encouraging. Encouraging and then, you know, positive, you know. So, I really... There's you not enough of that about either, is there? Genuine, it's you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm visible until I see you. Then I start smiling. Yeah, yeah. So they just change my mood. Mm. You know, if I, when I, if I come from home, like everybody feels sad, happy. Yeah. You know, so or I'm dealing with some problem. When I meet these two people and then my art group, especially, mm. so they change me straight away. You know, that's so mm. that was that's the one thing. You Thank know, you. I like I learn from art. Mm. You know, from bad mood. Thank you. Another good mood, you know. Mm-hmm. So amazing. Yeah. I just wonder <laughs> what it's like for you, Hannah. I mean, I know you've known Matt a long time, and Matt's also too long <laughs> delivering <laughs> art. But yeah. but when you hear how Matt's responds to your sessions, how Henock especially has oh. responded, I mean, as it makes it worth. Yeah, it, I was going to say it must be an incredible feeling because you, know, you do all the planning and you you know you're looking at stuff and thinking how's this going to go down, and then when people come in and just absolutely embrace what you're doing, 
it's just such a buzz. Like, we'd, we'd go way over the class time, wouldn't we? And it's like, everyone would be so into it. <laughs> it was, wasn't like, long enough, mate. He, well, he won't, yeah, when you did it. Yeah, long enough. I think we <laughs> all agree. Two hours was enough, so they'd end up, like, at least three hours. We all agree. Probably longer sessions, wouldn't it? And it's just so, so yeah. lovely. I, I love it. Mm. You know, it's, um, you know, it's what it's all about, isn't it, really? Because I love doing, like, my own artwork, but I see mm. this as much as my own artwork as well it's all yeah. it's all the same thing isn't it so I'm, yeah I'm to same. see you I'm guys like buzzing it's it's mm-hmm. fantastic mm-hmm. and it's the different ideas that you then bring as well and then seeing how stuff can go on in the future and we've got um so i'm doing a workshop for we've got the lates haven't we yes yeah, so the, the exhibition at the NAC launches on the 13th of september then on the 27th i think it finishes with the night at the art gallery yeah so it's part of friday lates and i'm doing a workshop for that so I think right, these stuff. lot will definitely be uh, involved, yeah. kind of charging all that up as well, and um, yeah. I'll try and pull something bizarre out of the bag uh, to 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 well, show. Are you good at that? <laughs> There's a message from Kate as well. I've got to ask you oh, about yeah. your fabulous hospitality. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no, that's, 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 the, whole response. that's the one you know. Yeah. Always, yeah. You, you know, you know. Every day, <laughs> right. her section. I, I just earlier I was mentioning. You know, yeah. different. Sometimes I where I am. I'm in venue or I'm in hotel. You know, just she make like champagne. Sometimes oh. lots of tea. And then you just there was no champagne. hungry to it do. It was champagne glasses. <laughs> champagne right. glasses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was alcohol fruit. Yeah. With fruit, yes. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, um, yeah, fancy course. fruit yeah, and uh, elderflower cordial. And Did fizz. we have cake the one time? Uh, my mum. Your mum? Yeah, yeah my mum, she made us an apple cake oh, wow. for the last and session. Scones? Wasn't the scones involved at one point? That, there was only, Kate had a birthday, didn't she? So there was That's like cake the scones, then as well. Yeah. Um, lovely tea, lovely got, I got, I got a proper little china tea cups and that. And um, I think just all of that, you know, mm. it's those extra little bits. Just yeah, but you made us. It feel, makes people feel good. We walked didn't into it? your group and we're like, oh, she's like really thought about this. She yeah, made, you want to feel nice, don't yeah. you? Yeah, it made us feel special. So I'm happy yeah. to have you guys there. You made so. us feel special. A bit of hospitality. I think Absolutely. Goes, uh, yeah. it's, I think uh, I, I was uh, joined, you know, the <laughs> this. Uh, Good Shepherd Art uh, class uh, since 2019. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it was in by City Center, best 25. Yes. Yep. Yep. When I compare, Anna, to just add you on your uh, program, you know, when I compare 2019, 2018, and now, it's big change. Mm-hmm. You know, now it's more professional. Yeah. You understand, more professional. That best 25 was very small room. Yes. And then now more, you know, special artists like. Mm-hmm. Uh, proper artists yeah. mm-hmm. and yeah. then they guide you they you know like me you know i don't have uh, like uh, experience mm-hmm. you know they teach you how to draw how to use the techniques the special yeah, thing yeah, you know yeah. which color with which color maybe you have to bring the sky you know mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. technique the important right. thing yeah. so more professional so thank you for the yeah. that's oh, for your professional and then for your uh, <laughs> okay. time i just want to add for yeah. that you know no, so she deserves it she's amazing yeah she probably also mentioned chris manley i think has played a huge part in that oh. hasn't he yeah. sadly yeah. no longer with us because i know he yeah. he did a live drawing of you didn't he yes. a portrait chris yes. who's yeah. so sadly yeah. missed but, um, drawing, yeah it? it's amazing yeah. isn't it and Chris was, I never met Chris Manley. Mm. I heard his name, I knew about him, I knew his son. Mm. I know his son. Yep, Stuart, um, yeah, does a lot of work. Mm. And I knew so many people yeah. who knew his work, but we went to that exhibition, the mm. posthumous exhibition. Of his, yeah. it, was a, it was his life, mm. basically, in this room. And, and that man was, uh, was art. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, tell me about it, yeah. He, he, Stu- every single picture, I mean, there must have been 200 pictures in this room, everyone's totally different. Mm. Looked like it. not not didn't look like the work of different artists, no. but you, you, it was one artist trying so many different things out. Yeah. Really, ins- wasn't really there. inspirational. Yeah. I think, uh, I mean, his influence will be involved what in the exhibition. Yeah. Sure, he was just so generous, was generous wasn't he? So generous with his knowledge, so mm. generous with his spirit. You know, wow. and it's kind of um, his oh, legacy sure. will just live mm. on in in all of us, really, isn't it? With the meeting him directly or kind of feeling the influence of yeah. you know the work he's put in. Mm-hmm. And the, and his ethos, really, I think that's what it is. You know, and it comes, just so it comes across that, doesn't it, in that mm. work? I, it does, I, doesn't I, it? I, I like I said, so. I've never met him. Yeah. But I feel like, I feel like I've met him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, like, yeah he's, I've uh, got a sense of who he, what he was yeah. about, yeah. definitely. Because his influence will be involved. And the, uh, if we look ahead to the exhibition, the cover exhibition in September at the New Hampton Art Centre, as we've said, finishing at the Art Gallery yeah. with Hannah involved. 
I mean, Matt, you're an artist anyway, but mm-hmm. having your work exhibited in that arena, and the same for Henock, probably different for you, yeah. to have a piece of artwork exhibited for people to come and see, I mean, for both of you, that must be an incredible feeling. Yeah. Of course, it is. It is absolutely, mm. absolutely showing you, showing you work, uh, and seeing that it's making it's bringing joy to people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's powerful. Mm. It's just, you're, you're adding something to the world that's, that's positive. Absolutely, uh, yeah. and art is positive. Art can change the way you f- you can you know have that picture on your wall, and without even realizing it, that's changing your the way you feel. Mm. It's making you feel a certain way. That well-being again, isn't it? Oh, it's powerful. Of, yeah. It can be very subtle. Mm. You might not know it's it, it's power, but it's powerful. Mm. It's a refreshing. Colour is power. Just colour is powerful. Mm. Yeah. Being in this room, that, that blue over there, it's making me feel a certain way. Mm. You don't realise it, but it does. Mm. It's an emotional trigger colour. is powerful emotional trigger. Mm. So it's, yeah, yeah, not to be taken lightly. <laughs> yeah, it's really amazing if my work on exhibition, you know, no, yeah. uh, you know, something, okay, I can do this, you know. Yeah, exactly. I I learn something, you know. Like uh, I can do something, or I can, you know. I I learn where I, I stand, you know. Mm. So that's the main thing, you know, for me, you know. Yeah. What I don't want to spend, which is I don't learn anything. So I want to see where I spend my time, and mm. I want to see the result. I well, think that the, the, it's learning. You le- yeah, learning constantly. Yeah. Even like I've been an artist. Yeah, you know, all my life, like you, like you have, yeah. you're constantly learning things. Yeah. You don't stop learning. That's the buzz of it. You don't get it? to a it's point a where Chris Manley, we were just talking, mm. Chris Manley, he, he looked like he'd been doing it all his life yeah. as well. He, he looked like he was still learning mm. things. Yeah, He's still yeah, trying yeah. different things out. You can see the variety. Mm. He wasn't like, oh, I know how to paint now. I'm, I'll leave it there. He was. He had that thirst for new mm. things. Absolutely. And art doesn't. St- it doesn't stop. There's no. There's no limits. Mm. There's no end. There's no, oh, you know art, now that's it, F- try something else, because there's things. always so much more to learn, mm. always. Because mm. I think with you, Henrik, as well, I think Chris told me this story that after one of the exhibitions previously, someone wanted to buy one of your paintings, is that right? Oh, wow. Yeah, that was... Incre- uh, that must have been, again, an incredible thing. Yeah, that was my, I think, my first exhibition. Mm. It was 2019, and then uh, uh, somebody bought my work wow. you know which is uh, that's that's one thing may make me to stick mm. with uh, mm. art uh, from where your life had been a few years before with yeah. no prospects and no and a couple of years later yeah you, you're in an exhibition mm. and then uh, see there's a the change fam- you've got family you around go, you you've got family you've got friends you know you feel so you know if you not feel strange mm. the main thing you know especially because i am refugee come which is come from very far mm-hmm. and then yeah. when you the environment is new for me you know so it's sometimes really hard to accept with uh, local people you know to make friend mm-hmm. which, which is uh, I don't have anything in this country you know I just made friends I don't have brother or uh, mother or no. any any no. any uh, yeah. like proper my you have to start again I start again, and then so I start again. Sometimes, you know, you know, the problem, you Mm. know, which is you enter some problem, you know, make you strong, and then you find uh, some sort of solution. Now, this problem, when I was homeless, I make so much friend Mm. and then big family. Mm. So that's the problem. Sometimes I think my problems, you know, now, Mm. but when I was... On that moment, I was complaining how I'm going to out from this problem. I was saying, but now everything success with the Good Shepherd, with the Hope into Action, City of Century, Charles and Mark uh, Church, yeah. Church. You know, yeah. this Watch all church. family began with the Good Shepherd. You know, mm. so yeah, yeah. You know, I think you, you <laughs> give so much as well, Henrik. It's like every, every time I've met you. Or, <laughs> You've, you've always, in every situation, oh, yeah. you, you give. Oh. <laughs> you know, everyone you know. I know who yeah. knows you, Henoch, that everyone loves you. Yeah, oh, yeah. Thank you, like, thank you, much. They don't just like you, everyone yeah. loves you. You know, you're such a kind soul. And it's well, like, mate. you know, so like at St. Chad's, you do the, um, you help with the, uh, yeah. the food market. the food market, I think, so, since the start, I think three years now. Is I it, think is so, it yeah. 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 Yeah, I think three years or two years. But since uh, they start, you know, 
you know, just helping there, you know. Yeah. Mm. I help myself as well, course, to be yeah. honest, you by know. Helping you this, <laughs> by helping you with this, you are helping yourself. Mm. You know, I take, I take the, yeah. I think sometimes two bag of food and yeah. then during yeah. a week, you know, I'm not going shopping, you know. That's mm. the reality, you know. But, the, but it saves all that, it, you know, the whole point is with the, with the food market is, It, it saves the waste, isn't it? It it's saves a sur- the it's waste. It's a surplus food. Absolutely. It's criminal how much food is wasted. Oh, it's, it's, it's a disgrace. You've got hungry there, people. You've know. mm. got food going yeah, to waste. It's, yeah, so it's it... not about only... Uh, it's the one thing is the saving uh, food. Mm. The another thing is in some family when you go to, you know, they have family member like... Yeah. A, three, four, mm. five family members. Yeah. Some of her, they help maybe back home, some uh, brother, sister, or their mother. You know, uh, they might be not working, you know, so they take this food yeah. from kind of uh, city of century, good mm. shepherd, and they cook that food. Once they get that money, they might help their mother, mm. brother, you know, yeah. some of our, you know, so it's really good, you know, it's really. Fantastic. It's fantastic. Uh, you know, so it's just, I'm not... Helping them, you know, yeah. they help me yeah, yeah. back. So, well, it's all about helping. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's yeah. actually like, you know, those of <laughs> cups need washing up, you're straight like, oh, right, okay, yeah. take those. You know, no no question, you're just straight like helping out. Mm-hmm. You see, like, something needs doing, and you're just on it. Just on Do it. you know what I mean? Not everybody mm-hmm. does that. And I think mm-hmm. that's the thing, you've got this, like, you, you just, you help. Mm-hmm. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You, you're part of. Everybody's lives, you know. You, you, well, you know, s- so, one thing, another thing to about good, uh, you know, the all the charity work. Why I uh, like to do with them or to work with them. Yeah. I was struggling, yeah. and then I need. Sometime I was that time I was need help, yeah. you know. So I find help, you know. Mm. So I'm now settled, mm. you know. Just you know, one hour, two hours, three hour, one day a week or two day a week, my spare time. Mm. If I give to them, you know, yeah. that's the one thing. Another thing is I was seeing, you know, in in charity place, in voluntary place, you see people like all the people, mm. you know, they do voluntary. They mm. maybe they when they tell you their age, seventy four, seventy five. Everything is is still very volunteering, you know. Yeah. And then I hear them, you know their experience, you know, I don't know, you know, some of our okay, from service user, they tell me, like, Matt, you share your history, mm-hmm. like I share your mm-hmm. history, my history, you know, they tell I was a lawyer, I was yeah. kind of this, yeah, yeah. you know, life mm-hmm. put you up and down, you know, mm-hmm. so, you know, to make your my track right way, you know, if you don't read or if you don't listen information, you don't know where to go, you know, yep. that's yeah. one thing helping me happily to have to do, you know, Brilliant. In charity works, you know. Yeah. Otherwise, in this country, mostly you can uh, gather with uh, like uh, with the community. The mm. only place is charity mm. yeah. or, you know. So this place is to learn to teach yourself about future. Um, you know, yeah, yeah. today maybe you have lots of money. Oh, I don't care about future. You know, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. anytime we'll disappear. So that's the lots main of, reason. You know, yeah. Yeah. I know lots Always of people. Learning. Yeah. Yeah. I know lots of people who have had. High flying jobs, top of the game, mm. and you know a, a year later something happened, mm. and there, yeah, right back. Right Maybe down helps, there. you know. Helps. Helps. Right yeah. down there. You need someone help, you know. You understand me? Yeah, we yeah. affect with health. You affect with the financial. Mm. Yeah. You know, we are or. Your house will take bank. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I hear so, so many. many ones, we're only like, <laughs> yeah. we're only like so, one, a couple of rent payments off being yeah. evicted, don't we? You know, most yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. That's no yeah. real security. No. Yeah. You know, we are no guarantee. So I'm no guarantee no for guarantees. future. No. Yeah. That's why, you know. Enjoy it. Live for today. Start learning from uh, <laughs> Bez. Yeah, you know, mm. being always like my principle, you know, be down, you know. I don't be like, yeah. I have this, I have this, yeah. you know. No, 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 no. Don't get too carried away. Always, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Make the most That's, of what you yeah. have. Yeah. Be grateful. Yeah. 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 Wow, probably brings us back round to art and how important art is because people <laughs> are in, if you're in bad places or yeah, the ups absolutely. and downs. It's, well, it's, uh, it's, it's the, funny, it just reminded me of a course I did online with um, mm. with an artist and uh, he said he's, uh, I was learning a new technique and it was hard and uh, he, he's, teacher before him had said to him you've got to be um what did he say it's about humility mm-hmm. because is what we think we know you know mm. when you've done stuff for so many years and it's all right but to be humble enough to go okay i don't know how to do it that yeah, way yeah, yeah. i'll follow instruction i'll learn yeah. and it's like and that can be quite a hard yeah. pill to swallow at times can't it really but uh, oh i know i'm uh, you know as as, as 
as much as I know about some areas in art, there's yeah. far more than I, that I don't know. Yeah, mm. yeah, this is it, far, isn't it? Far yeah. more. I know, so that, tiny um, little bit. Hum humility and everything, isn't Absolutely, it, really? It's yeah. like, you know, yeah, we can yeah. be good Keep at Keep your feet on the ground, things. remain humble. Yeah. And know that there's always more that you don't know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think that's a perfect lesson. Yeah. That's a good place yeah. to finish, I think. Yeah. I mean, I think with you three. We could finish it with a drum sound. <laughs> yeah, the drum we, yeah. we could go for a, hours, we could talk with you three. Speaking, you were speaking new technique, you know, and then... Recently, I think, Matt, you and me, and then I think uh, Sally, Joe, and Bob, the, mm. you know, the Geet Hatters. Oh, geek. wow. One the of Geese Theater my... Oh, Geese Theater. We've not yeah, mentioned the Geese Theater. one of my best experience amazing. with... Oh, wow. uh, we used to, every day, with the Good Shepherd, we do, like, painting, drawing, yeah. different things. But unforgettable time, you know. We've never Just, done theater I, before. I never, 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 even never attend... Uh, no. To see theater live, you know, yeah, yeah. Mm. that was my best experience so, yeah. so far this year, you know. Yeah, wow. yeah. This year, five yeah. people, all totally different, and we've come together, <laughs> uh, all terrified of public speaking. Yeah, all. Te if you asked us, would you be okay on a stage mm. acting in front of someone? We'd all tell you where to go mm. because we were terrified yeah. of the idea of that. And before you know it, we've come up with content for mm. a play with powerful. Yeah. Powerful messages involved in it because it's all bits for, of our, our own life. And the geese there to get you to produce something, they're so brilliant. Mm. Mm. They make you so comfortable and they get you to do all these little work, mm. these little things. And you just think you're having a laugh and not mm. doing no, anything. Yeah. But Before, really, you're performing. creating a play, yeah. wow. uh, it's just powerful. And I think so everyone, empowering. The, the reviews from it were unbelievable, oh, I think, both yeah. times. The everyone Theater, was standing yeah. up, yeah. everyone was crying, yeah. everyone was applauding. What, what I enjoy, you know, before the show up, it's was the, the process. Mm. So every day, the I think whole, three weeks. We yeah, had. yeah. Mm. The whole process was, it was brilliant, wasn't it? Mm. You know, I feel like exciting to go. Uh, like exciting, yeah. yeah. They take me back my, where where I was my childhood memory. Mm, right. We play ball. We yeah, we do all these things. activity. We do We're and talking then, about home, talking about things that we talking about car, talking, talking how about they, all <laughs> sorts of things. <laughs> right. How do you feel this morning? If you were an animal, what animal would you be? <laughs> mm. I Today feel, I feel like a pigeon. Yeah, you know, I, it's, and it's all working all towards. Kind yeah, of time, yeah, all yeah. these kind of yeah. uh, things we were doing, and we we're thinking this is just nonsense, really. Mm. I, I, that's what I was thinking, and then it dawned on me that oh, okay, this is going to be in the play, isn't it? Mm. All these yeah. things are going to be they're taking little things, and we're going to be performing these soon, mm. and that's what it was. Was right. it filmed? No, oh, they want us to be, okay. they've asked us. The geese said the, the response was that good. There's a, a something coming up soon called Rains. A rains fest. Okay. Oh, and they want right. us to redo. Oh, that's good. But the first like time, they yeah. never, they never yeah, do that. It's all, it's all oh, about wow. one off. Do a performance, one off. And they've asked us to do it if we would do it again. Are going to do it? And of course, we're going to do it. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, we're going to do it. Of course. Yeah. That's it. We're going to do second, the second now, experience. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Brilliant. Encore. We've gone from, Encore, being, yeah. we've yeah. gone from <laughs> being terrified to yeah. like, bring it on. Yeah. yeah. Anything, bring it on. With these people, you know, honestly, I can't do anything. You can do anything. With this, I can't do anything, you know, as long as... I thought about you, Henok, I was terrified. I was terrified about this play, and I thought, if Henok can do it... I don't know. Then anyone can do it. And that's I meant that, and I mean it now. If you can do it, mate, then we we how can we complain? Because we... And that's well, a link, it was a link up with Suits again, that was, wasn't it? Suits and the Geese Theatre, yeah. and obviously the Good Shepherd yeah. got the balls again, yeah. that yeah. partnership people. working. So, yeah. Just all amazing people doing amazing things, mm. yeah. making the world a better place. <laughs> One of which is the Recovery Exhibition again. Yeah. So yeah. that's yeah. what it's all Thanks so much for joining us. Really, everyone's looking forward to seeing your work on show Thank at the Newhampton Art Centre from the 13th of September and then the Art Gallery on the 27th of September, which should be a great night. So, yeah, really appreciate your time and sharing your stories. Thank it's you. been an uh, incredible been, listen. Been yeah. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.